Hi guys, here my favorite korma curry. My favorite, this one. Anyway, vegetables, obviously. This is cauliflower. I break it to small pieces, lots of small pieces, even the leaves. And at this stage, I actually add mushrooms, but I forgot because I was recording, so I forgot all about it. <clears throat> so here, I at this stage, I've actually put, I put a little bit of salt. I don't normally put salt, but I just put a little bit. No oil, nothing. And I put in the oven 200, uh, 200 degrees for quite a while. Well, for about 20 minutes, something like that. But I ch keep checking, staring, you know, keep looking. I, don't, I want it to be crunchy. And here, obviously, the mushrooms I forgot. So I did add them here. Uh, ginger and garlic. I grate on a small gra grater. Little sweet potato. I just put two small ones, not a lot. But they make a difference. Uh, chopped onions. Uh, garlic, you can see quite a lot. I like my garlic. Lemongrass, uh, doesn't have to be, but it's nice to have it, okay? So when I stir fry, I don't use oils at all. I just just keep stirring um, on, on a hot pan. If it gets sticky, I just add a little bit of water, that's all. And I, do you know, you really don't need oil. I haven't used it for quite some time, to be honest. And I just keep adding water, stirring, and it just fries just like on oil only healthy i would suggest i think okay so keep stirring and at a later stage i add sweet potatoes here we are so again keep stirring keeps about five minutes seven minutes up to ten minutes it's really you deciding you know you don't have to be cooked at this stage i put in a blend a little bit of coconut milk uh, all together, I use two cans of coconut coconut milk, the, the bigger ones, 420, I think it is, gram. Um, so I blend with lemongrass. But here, you can see me doing the ginger and garlic, uh, just mixing it on a pan, just stir it well enough. Then I add the, my favorite, it is korma. You know, there are many different curries and you've got different ones. You can try whatever you, you know, if you've got your favorite, use your favorite. That is my favorite. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I add two teaspoons heaped and I do, re uh, I do uh, remember, I did add another one, I think later on because it just didn't quite taste. So taste it, you know, when you add coconut milk, taste it, uh, you know, what you feel, uh, if it's sufficient, if it's enough. Okay, here adding a bit more water and keep stirring another five minutes or so. And then I used, uh, you know, that uh, coconut milk with lemongrass. I blend it, uh, just pour it in there. Lemongrass just gives that extra flavor, beautiful. It doesn't have to be because some, a lot of times I don't have it, but since I do have it, I use it. Uh, and the rest of the coconut milk. So like I said, two cans are used. And I keep stirring here and I cook for about 10 minutes on this, you know, on the top. And later I take out the cauliflower with mushrooms and pour the curry on top of it. Mix it all nicely and stick in the oven for another, maybe 10 minutes, no more, not much more. You know, everything is pretty cooked. Uh, sweet potato maybe needs a little bit more. So I just stir it in there and I just pop it in the oven for another 10 minutes. Oh, it's so delicious, you know, I my mouth waters when I'm looking at the video and recording. So when I did put it in the oven, I took it out after 10 minutes, I put it more the spinach. Don't forget, you put lots of spinach, but it actually disappears. When it actually shrinks, you hardly see it. So I do put a lot and nobody really knows they're eating something healthy if you've got kids <laughs> so put lots of spinach and because of you know it all is so hot with with seconds it just disappears to small pieces and that's it voila with rice i steamed some cabbage and i steamed some green beans that's me i hope you enjoy it